Is PSV Eindhoven's Cody Gakpo the man for Arsenal? I'm Martin Tyler, and you're listening to Harry Simeon. Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna Extra, the show in which we take a topic and we break it down in bite-sized format, I guess, in comparison to our full-length episodes. And today's edition is based on Cody Gakpo, the PSV Eindhoven winger who has been heavily linked with a move to Arsenal over the last few days. Should we get him? Is he somebody that we can get? Is he somebody that is on Arsenal's radar? Well, according to reports coming out of the Netherlands over the last few days, Arsenal have shown an interest in the PSV Eindhoven winger. He's just 22 years old and is already captaining the side. And they're a huge club, one of the biggest in the Netherlands, a club steeped in history, responsible for having produced a number of top, top players over the years. But is Cody Gakpo the man for the Gunners. Well, let's assess his 2021-22 season so far. And when you look at the numbers, it makes pretty impressive reading. 20 league appearances, eight goals and 13 assists to show for it. Also managed three goals in the Europa Conference League, as well as two goals in the Europa League. So he's somebody who has been fairly consistent throughout the season. In fact, more than consistent, he's been impressive. He has been the star man of PSV Eindhoven. And as I say, the captain at 22 of a club like that, that's no mean feat. He's come up through the ranks at the club. He's a fully fledged Dutch international. And the Eredivisie in Dutch football has been a breeding ground for hot talents for many a years, for as long as I can remember. In fact, youth development is pretty much the crown jewel, isn't it, in the Dutch game. So what do we know about the player himself, Cody Gakpo, and would he be a good fit for the Arsenal? Well, he's a very, very big lad. He's six foot two, and that catches you a little bit by surprise because normally wingers, well, they're not the biggest players uh, in terms of their size and stature normally. And when you look at the player, you could be forgiven for thinking he might be a centre half or a centre forward. But actually, he plays his best football from the left wing. His movement can be quite unpredictable. He can often be found sort of pulling really wide and picking up the ball on the touchline and driving in field. But he can also be found drifting into those half spaces and taking up positions slightly more similar to that that a centre forward might take up. So Cody Gakpo's movement is one of his strong points. It's one of the things that makes him a really, really top player. As I say, moves inwards, moves outwards and also has the ability to go either way when taking on a player. He's... Ability to drop the shoulder and catch people out is, you know, something we see quite often in football. Players dropping the shoulder. It's not a new thing. It's not an innovative thing. But it is something that you don't really associate with a player of Cody Gakpo's size. But the way he does it and and the way he's able to execute it has made him incredibly difficult to stop. Add that to the fact that he's big, powerful, leggy, and then he takes big strides. And once he's passed you, it's very, very difficult to recover. It's very difficult to keep up with him across the ground. It's also very difficult to muscle your way back into the challenge because he has, as I say, a lot of physical attributes that make him a real, real handful. Loves a one-two, combines so often and so frequently uh, with his teammates in and around him, particularly with the centre forward. Uh, Somebody who's got a real football brain and shows great intelligence in the way that he applies himself. Over the last few days, I've seen a lot of Arsenal fans talking about Cody Gakpo as a really good option. In fact, I've seen lots of people suggest that he is their number one go-to target for the summer, but not as a winger. So the question is, is Cody Gakpo cut out to be a centre forward or is he better off playing from the left wing as he currently does? Well, here's my opinion on it. I don't think the conversation around Cody Gakpo and playing at centre forward would even be a thing if he wasn't six foot two and and didn't possess such a big frame. I think a lot of us are sometimes sort of deceived by aesthetics. And we look at a player who's got a big frame, he's really tall, looks very powerful, and you think, yeah, he could do the centre-forward role. But the centre-forward role is very, very different. I've already talked about Cody Gakpo's movement. I've already talked about the fact that he 
thrives on the ability to go outside and to go inside. But when you play as a centre forward, that's not a luxury that you're often afforded. When you play as a centre forward, yeah, okay, you're in the middle of the pitch, you can go left or right. Okay, I get that. The point I'm trying to make here is that when you do start in a wide position, you're not the focus of the centre halves. Therefore, you can get into those half spaces or you can pull out wide. And more often than not, you're going to get into a bit of space in an area of the pitch in which you can receive the ball under less pressure. Your game as a winger is more about carrying the ball. Your game is about isolating one player, beating him, normally the fullback, and providing either assists or getting shots off at goal. When you play as a centre forward, your game is very, very different. And just because Cody Gakpo is six foot two, is uh, very strong, is quite quick across the ground, it doesn't necessarily mean that he would be better at centre forward than he would be on the left. I've also seen Arsenal fans over the last few days making that Thierry Henry comparison. A big, tall, uh, strong, powerful figure who started out on the left wing and then made a transition into a centre forward. But was Thierry Henry ever really a centre forward? Yeah, on paper he was. But most of his best work came from the left-hand side. Most of when he was devastating was him pulling out to that left-hand side, combining with the likes of Robert Pires, Ashley Cole uh, at the time as well, and doing damage from that position. Yes, he did later on in his career sort of move into a more central role when towards the back end of his Arsenal career, if you remember, he was playing as a lone striker a lot. And that meant that he had to be more central in his starting position. And that meant that his role slightly changed. But Thierry Henry's best work always came from that left-hand side and from that inside half space. So to say that Cody Gakpo would 100% make a good centre-forward option for Arsenal, I think is a little bit wider the mark. Does he have some of the qualities and the attributes to play in that position? Yeah, he does. As I say, physically, he's there. Uh, from a technical standpoint, he's a brilliant finisher, brilliant striker of the ball. And so you could argue that, of course, um, you know, he's well-placed to make that transition to a centre-forward. But the centre-forward in Mikel Arteta's team and in Arsenal's side plays a very different role to that that they might play at other clubs. Alexander Lacazette is somebody who's obviously earned the trust of Mikel Arteta in recent months. He might not have convinced all the fans uh, of his level and, and, and of the fact that he should maybe remain at the club. Who knows? But what he has done is he's shown uh, that if you are unselfish, if you are clever in the way you position yourself, if you do drop into areas from maybe an area, sorry, that you maybe won't always score goals from, you can facilitate the thriving of others. You can facilitate uh, the thriving of the likes of Bukayo Saka, of Emil Smith-Rowe, of Gabby Martinelli, of Martin Odegaard. Why? Because you are vacating certain spaces, dropping into other spaces and leaving those areas for those players that are wingers stroke wide forwards to dart infield and make things happen. That's the strength in Alexander Lacazette. That's the quality that Alexander Lacazette brings to the table at the moment. And yes, we'd love a striker that scores more goals. We'd love a player with a much better goal record. And Cody Gakpo's goal record reads brilliantly. He's a wonderful player and he'd be a very, very welcome addition to the squad. But I'm not sure he should be the guy that we turn to in terms of replacing Lacazette as a centre forward. He's got lots of qualities, as I keep on saying. But that transition from a left winger into a centre forward, it's not as straightforward as people make out. It's not a case of looking at certain elements of his game and saying, well, those, uh, you know, those things are there. They're present. And so there's no issue. There's no worry. There's no concern about him having to make that transition. Playing as a centre forward and being a good centre forward, you have to do things out of habit. You have to drop into certain spaces out of habit. You have to have that instinct to get into the right areas uh, when facing the opposition goal to put the ball in the back of the net, all of which take time to develop. So if Arsenal were to go and sign Cody Gakpo, which I'm well in favour of, for me, it would have to be as a winger with the ability to play in a more central position from time to time. But if you're pinning your centre forward hopes on a 22 year old who's played from the left flank most of his career, I think it's a huge and almighty gamble 
And I'm not ready to see Arsenal do that. I think we need someone who knows the position inside out, someone a little bit more suited to it, not just somebody who has a couple of attributes that make him uh, somebody that you could consider as a centre forward as well as a left winger. It's got to be more specific. One of the things that Mikel Arteta and Edu have done really, really well in recent years is profile players, profiled them in terms of what they want to get out of them. You know, what did they want in a centre half? They wanted a calm, calculated, measured and ball playing centre half. They went and got Ben White, who fits the bill perfectly. What did they want in a goalkeeper? They wanted one, obviously, that was a good shot stopper. They had a good shot stopper in Burnt Leno. But what they now wanted was a goalkeeper who could distribute the ball in the way that Aaron Ramsdale can and begin attacks, give us the ability to play out from the back more comfortably. And Aaron Ramsdale ticks all of those boxes. Mikel Arteta has profile players and then executed uh, transfers that have seen us bring in players as close to that fit as possible. And that's why we're having such a good season. That's why we've improved so much uh, sort of this season in comparison to the last because of good business, good profiling and then managing to execute and get those deals over the line. Cody Gakpo, as I say, brilliant player. I'd love to see him come in, but I want him to come in as the player that he is, a winger with the ability to score goals and impact games, as opposed to asking this 22-year-old lad who is going to have to make a big step up from the Eredivisie to the Premier League to not only contend with moving divisions, moving countries, moving clubs, but to also then have to change his position. I think that's a big ask and I think it's a big risk if we're only looking at him as a centre-forward. That's my thoughts on Cody Gakpo. Brilliant play. I'd love to see him at the club. But is he the answer to our centre-forward problem? I don't think so. I think he is a left winger. A very, very good one at that. You know, the sky's the limit for the young Dutchman. He's shown incredible talent and he's shown incredible promise. But don't bring him in and try and put a square peg in a round hole. It's not the way to go for me anyway. Don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Let me know your thoughts on Cody Gakpo in the comments section below. The 22-year-old PSV Eindhoven winger being linked with a move to the Gunners. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of the Chronicles of Aguna Extra. We'll be back very soon with more. Until next time, goodbye. I'm Martin Tyler and you're listening to Harry Simeon.